Hey everybody, what's up? Dan, Warpaint JKU. I got a Centex Jeeper behind me over there from Instagram. And uh, we are on our way to PBR 2023 here in Mason, Texas. We're gonna be at Wolf Caves. Should be an awesome day. It's a little cold out this morning. Should be really nice later on. We're gonna get some good footage for you guys. We got Warpaint over there and uh, we got a TJ over here with Warpaint's old axles under it and old wheels and old tires actually um pretty cool you guys have seen that jeep in another video on here where we did a walk around and told you what we did to the suspension on that rig if you haven't seen it go check it out but uh stay tuned because we're going to be out there we're going to hit some fun stuff today and there's going to be a ton of jeeps going to do some walk arounds all that kind of stuff and uh, should be in for a wild ride check it out All right, we're here. Centex Jeepers unloading the rig, right? Getting ready to uh, go have a good time, have some fun today. Um, I'll tell you the nice thing, one of the benefits, right? Most of y'all probably know this, but one of the benefits of uh, towing your rig is you get to air down your tires at like waist level, right? So you're not actually crouched down for a few minutes by each tire, it's really nice. So this is the map it looks like right i mean you can see here we got the one new trail lone star right 12 mile trail pretty cool this is the other side of the map which kind of shows lone star but all the different skill level trails it looks like some of them go that way some of them might go that way maybe a little bit to the right of that way but then you look around right and you're like it's kind of hard to tell what goes where right you're not going down a tree line where there's no other way to move so everything's pretty much a trail out here right you just kind of stumble along and find your way and maybe you gotta back up maybe you gotta win. so wolf caves pretty awesome park here you can see the campground area and way off in the distance is the actual off-road park it's basically a giant playground where you can drive around try to stay on trails put your tire on whatever you want all right he's ready i want to go over that rock for absolutely no reason other than it's not on the trail and it looks kind of cool it's kind of fun <laughs> All right, so you heard that, right? We've been already here for a while. We've been talking about how here this park, uh, I mean, if you get a good look, right? Like look around, the trails aren't really well marked. You, you can kind of go anywhere. So, Centex Jeepers gonna put his tires up here on this guy and uh, we're gonna have fun with it. Centex Jeeper here on Instagram. Uh, we are completely lost. So uh, we're Peyton and I are wandering and uh, looking for the biggest rocks that we can find. Something called Sledgehammer up here, that sounds terrifying. So uh, I guess we're gonna go do that. 
All right, on our way over and checking out some of those harder trails, we stumbled across these guys, group of buggies here, uh, obviously four wheel steering, 42s, 43s, suck down winches, the whole deal. This pretty cool rig here is actually uh, set up with a mid engine and uh, balances the weight perfectly and that granite style rock out here at Wolf Caves literally makes it possible to climb eight foot walls. Check it out. Oh, it's coming. see that rear steer in action making sure that it sets it up correctly on the correct line and puts the right amount of pressure on those front wheels getting it to climb straight up pretty badass drive amazing stuff from a pretty high-tech vehicle and now we're transitioning here to an old Toyota pickup truck guys this thing has obviously been buggied out still running the Toyota axles with pretty giant tires as well as running leaf springs in all four corners does some really super gnarly stuff check it out Go slow, 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 slow. That's a great line if you can keep it there. Go slow, 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 slow. There you go. Slow, slow, yep. That's a great line. What's that from passenger? It's about to start climbing right now. It's on a great line. It's a good line without a locker? Uh, it might need a locker if you can lock it there. If you can keep it there, it's get just the front. It's going to be a great line if it, you can do just the front. There it goes. There it goes. Straighten out. Straighten out. Right there. Keep it a little driver just to touch as you come up. Oh, yeah, you're safe, buddy. Nice and slow, though. Little bit of passenger as you come up. Oh, 
That rock's coming with you. What am I on? <laughs> that rock is. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like I'm going somewhere. Yeah, you might not be. <laughs> All right, guys, we are on our way back to the party. Gonna grab some lunch, gonna have some fun, walk around. We got a little log jam here, right? It's the same deal with any of these Jeep events. Uh, you get all sorts of people out here with all different experience levels, which is what it, what it's about, right? Which is all part of it. But uh, we get rigs that, you know, kind of sometimes uh, need a little spotting and that kind of stuff. So a little bit of waiting around is going to happen. Okay, so what are you doing here? Yeah, we don't have it here. What is this? I'm acting like you. That's me? I, Dr. Pepper, <laughs> driving a truck, pulling a trailer. Right, this is what we do when we're at the off-road park, but we don't want a wheel. We make fun of our dad. <laughs> right, so this is what I deal with. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is Maverick, right, uh, from Instagram, right? What's your, That's what's your right. Instagram name? Maverick uh, JL 4x8. Yeah, so we uh, met him up here at uh, Wolf Caves PBR, right? And he's got a 4XE, which is pretty awesome because obviously they have the electric component, lots of torque, that kind of stuff, really fun. They got the eight speed, but uh, tell us more about it. So it's a 21 uh, 4x8 Sahara, was completely bone stock with like, I call them slick, slick tires, but yeah. um, got some, uh, got some used wheels and tires. So used wheels and tires, right? They're fuel wheels, they're 20s, but he's on 33s. Um, and that's why we also wanted to talk to him, right? Because uh, he's active on Instagram, so go check him out. But also because a lot of people, when you hear about Wolf Caves, are a little bit intimidated and don't necessarily want to come out here, unless they're on like tons and 40s, and that's not the case, right? So here's a guy on 33s, 20 inch wheels, he's aired down a little bit, but he's still out there having a blast, right? A blast. No, no lockers. Right? Seriously, no lockers. Guys, this is exactly what the Jeep community is really about. It's why I started this YouTube channel and it's why I started the Instagram page to show the normal everyday guy can go out there, have a blast. Not everybody needs to be built like the crazy Jeeps you see out there on YouTube. But if you wanna build one of those Jeeps, you certainly can and make it affordable by doing it yourself in your own garage. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the rest of the climbing. Might be You're the one that got stuck on a rock in the middle of the road. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's because I got all that hang down. Oh, man. <laughs> turn, uh, turn faster now. What? You're going to hit dip. There you go. You're good now. Woo! Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Wolf Caves and we got cows because, you know, we're wheeling in Texas. A really fun day here at Wolf Caves. It was awesome. Event was great. Uh, had a ton of giveaways. Just a, just a whole bunch of fun. Uh, we're going to navigate now back and uh, load up the uh, rigs on some trailers, go back into town, have some dinner, shut it down for the night. And so, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, check it out.